In your Positively Richmond, Super Bowl 57 is next weekend, but before we see the players put up points, we need to see how the pups play. Welcome back. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. The 19th annual Puppy Bowl starts right before the big game, and we've got some homegrown pups taken to the field. 8 News reporter Alexis Bellamy met one of the contestants today. She's live in the Digital Center. And Alexis, which pup player did you meet? Well, Eric, Deanna, I got the chance to meet Pepper. She's a 10-month-old Australian Shepherd Rescue who lives right here in Richmond. She lives with her new mom, dad, and big brother, Finn. She also has some real pup potential to bring the Puppy Bowl win home to RVA. Beautiful, hilarious chaos um, <laughs> at any given time. Pepper. Formerly known as Cheeky Tinker, was adopted from Green Dogs Unleashed in Troy back in October. The group is a nonprofit rescue organization which specializes in dogs with certain disabilities. Although Pepper is functionally deaf, her new parents have learned that she can hear certain noises, including her own name. Oh, oh, did you hear that? Her new mom says that doesn't stop her from being the sweetest and smartest dog. She is. Uh, very energetic, which you know you expect from an Aussie, uh, but also she is super, super smart. It's been a lot of fun. She's a super sweet puppy. Her new parents, Chris and Megan Van Dett, say as avid Puppy Bowl watchers, they are beyond excited Good to see girl. her compete. They didn't even know that she was going to be in the Puppy Bowl until after they adopted her. This is the funny thing. Uh, we didn't actually know that she was in the Puppy Bowl until about two months after we adopted her. Uh, we had no idea. I guess right after Animal Planet announced the lineup, they texted us and said, hey, by the way, you've been living with a celebrity for the last two months. <laughs> she recently finished her puppy training and is doing extremely well with sit, stay, and many other commands. The Vandettes say there are some loopholes to work through when it comes to having a hearing-impaired puppy. You know, if we're outside um, and, you know, she, for whatever reason, gets off the leash, we can't just call her and tell her to come to us. Um, so that is one thing that's a little bit different is not having... Um, the ability to really use his verbal cues as much. Well, the Vandettes added that they don't know if Pepper won, but they will be watching the bowl just like everyone else to find out. They may also consider a potential TV career for Pepper following the outpouring of support they received. The Rough Canine Dog Park in Richmond is holding a watch party for Pepper the day of the big game. In the Digital Center, Alexis Bellamy, 8 News. Thanks, Alexis. Well, we'll all be rooting for Pepper, and I love that they were like, well, we might leverage this into a potential Pepperific, pup, now, of course, TV career. We don't know who won either, but I'm going to say Pepper yeah. is a strong contender. Yeah, I think so. That's She's right. got a lot of pup potential, as That's Alexis right. said. That's what she said.